What's up guys, this is Vidas FIFA and welcome to a brand new FIFA and the Beast and today we are looking at a case of rare versus non-rare teams. The motivation behind this video was that I know that there are a lot of people who see a non-rare player and they basically discard them or don't want to use them just because they are non-rares. So to prove to myself and maybe to you guys that non-rares are not that bad, I built two teams. The first team you can see on your screen and it is a BPL full non-rare team. Uh, we've got Origi up front with Papi Sisa, we've got Bojan, uh, we've got Son, we've got Thoveu, who is our Road to Arsenal legend. Uh, then we've got McCarthy, Suare, Stones, Johnny Evans, uh, Trippier and Vorm in goal. And it looks like a very decent team, uh, it, it plays pretty good as well. So right now, let me show you my other team, which will be a rare team. Alright guys, and here is a rare team. And as you can see, it looks shiny, so it looks better. But if you look at every single player from the non-rare team, this is those are basically the exact same players. We've got a quick uh, left striker with 4-star skills, we've got a slower right striker with better shooting, we've got a cam with around 80 pace uh, with 4-star skill moves, a slower right midfielder uh, with 4-star skills, a quicker left midfielder with 3-star skills, a very beasty CDM, then we've got a left back and right back around 80 pace. Uh, we've got around 70 pace on our uh, on our center backs and almost the exact stats of Vorm and Howard. To be fair, Vorm has actually <clears throat> a tiny bit of better stats than Team Howard. So you know those teams are basically the same team. I took them both to the games to a game in a division. And let me show you what happened uh, in a second. But before I roll the clips of the game, click on the subscribe button, dudes. Uh, that would be super, super much appreciated. And smash the like button if you enjoyed those videos. That's absolutely brilliant. If you have any teams of your own, make sure to send me them on Twitter. The link to Twitter will be in the description under the video. So let's roll with the clips. And what can I tell you first of all is that I lost both the games. There are a few reasons why I did, uh, or I think I do. First of all, I do not enjoy FIFA after the patch that much, and as enjoy, I, I mean, I don't play as good. Before the patch, I was basically winning like five, six games to one loss. Right now, I've got one lo one win to one loss. That that's that's the hard, uh, hard truth right now. Unfortunately, I know that many big YouTubers and streamers deal with the same uh, the same problems right now after the patch. So I guess we all have to adapt to it. But right now I'm not enjoying my FIFA that much. <clears throat> the second thing is uh, I took those game both those teams into divisions, uh, and you know the players in the divisions are better, the teams are better, especially the first team that I came up with. The first game was of course with the uh, non-rare team. And you know the, the the opponent was absolutely had an absolutely brilliant team. He had Azard as a substitute who absolutely destroyed me. Lewandowski whose strikes were brilliant. Uh, you know I was trying to do whatever I could. Especially Bojan was trying as hard as he could. He was absolutely brilliant in this team. I really really rate him much higher than Sasanion. But you know what can you do? Uh, as you can see, I had a lot of chances in the, that game. A lot of a lot of them uh, did not go through. And in the other game, our opponent didn't have such a uh, great team, but he also had some luck. He scored two goals, I think, against me, which was a, a bit lucky. Team Howard didn't do as well as he could have done. He's, I guess, I guess not the best uh, goalkeeper. He's nothing to the likes of Begovic, for example, who was absolutely great. Uh, and I really, really like to use him. So, you know, but those facts aside, I think there was no real difference there. It, was, it wasn't it um, was that much better to play with a rare team. I even thought, or I've even felt 
like I could understand the team better when it was full non-rare. Uh, the players there were absolutely quality. McCarthy, Son, uh, Bowian, who was brilliant, Origi, who's actually I rate him higher than uh, than Mane. The defense was, you know, here and there. It, it wasn't uh, the best possible, but what can you do you know in the rare team there were some better defenders of course uh like gabriel who's very good luke shaw who's very good the cdm in Tiota was actually uh very very good as well although i feel like mccarthy is doing a better job uh the right midfields in both teams were not that great i feel right now pace is more important than it was a few months ago uh so both lamella and Tobel weren't doing a great job uh, Mane, I didn't like that much, so you know, Atsu did absolutely nothing, I thought Son is, is actually a much better player uh, this year. So, as a whole, as a whole, I would say, never underestimate the non-rares, uh, some of the players there are absolutely brilliant, just look at their stats, look at uh, how they are, you know, there, were, there are some more non-rares Mm, cards that I could have used in the team that I really rate high. Under Era, for example, brilliant player. Uh, Jack Wilshire, once again, a great player, both non rares. And I feel like if you saw a few of those cards that are non rares as rares, they would be used much, much often. Uh, because, you know, I often come up against player people with Mane, with Harry Kane, with Lamella. Um, with Gabriel, I never come up against people with Johnny Evans, with um, whatever, Papi Cisse, because those players are discarded. Where, as a matter of fact, I enjoy playing with the non-rares a bit more. Of course, it's not always the rule, you know? You always have to look at the player, not uh, at, uh, at, at, at the shininess of its card, but that's basically the moral of this story. So I would actually encourage you guys to check out some non-rares if you, if you don't have that many coins, uh, or if you don't want to spend a lot of coins be in before Team of the Year, because you are saving them for Team of the Year. Uh, you can always check up some cheaper and better options in non-rares, uh, so, you know, that, that's that's basically the moral of this story. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I know I, I I basically fucked up with with the games and that I played. Well, I played like 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 a noob there. But you know what can you do? What can you do? Sometimes you have better games at FIFA. Sometimes you have worse. Uh, but I still hope that you enjoyed this video. Once again, smash the like button and uh, I will see you very soon. Good luck in your FIFA. Boom!